All right, guys, so what I'm taking apart here is the Asus 2300. Um, you'll see it's the touchscreen with the base. And what I started seeing here happening was that it the hard drive was going out. And so to get to the hard drive, it's inside here, but it's not your traditional case that you're used to taking apart like a regular computer case. So I want to shoot this video for future reference on how to get into the case. There's actually four screws. Um, you'll see that I took off one, two, three, four right there, the two big ones. Um, so there's actually one, two, three, four. I, I should say there's actually f five there, and then there's one right there. So let me show you the first one. The first one's hidden behind the side plate back here. You can see it. That one was my last one that was hard to find. Okay, and then the first one I actually found was on the back which was hidden on the far right back you'll see there's a bracket right there so you gotta take off that plate back black plate this one was kind of tricky it was hidden behind the sticker which is the top right there so you'll see there's a there's a circle there um, so that sticker for the uh, the port plug-in it's a top right so there's three three screws there okay um, and then I took off these two back ones here. I don't know if I needed to, but um, I don't think I really did. Maybe maybe I did because it's attached to the metal. But those two back ones, there's a plate there. You'll see the plastic plate right there. It's kind of hidden. Okay. And then... Um, there is nothing in the front. I did have to... Uh, as I was prying this this open up, I did have to get like a a screw driver and a flat blade, or you can use a plastic uh, tool. But I found that my plastic tools for my, my iPod iPod devices have actually broke because so it's it's just metal. So you might want to use like a flat blade and uh, open up. There's a bracket in here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a bracket right in the inside. Yeah, there it is. That I actually had to bend to get that open. Okay, so um, that's the other the other one, and then let me check this side. I think there was one here. Yeah, it's on the uh, the far back next to the label. There's one right there. I called a Zeus, and they wanted to charge me 120 bucks, 25 bucks to send it over to them, probably before shipping. I don't know, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, I just bought this thing not even a year and a half ago. And it's sad that the hard drive went out. So, um, according to their specs, it's a 3.5 inch drive. Let's take a look. Look at the inside. Um, there's the the DVD drive, which appears to me it's that's gone bad too. I don't know if it's dust that's gone in there because it's kind of dusty in here. But it's not work really working as efficient as I thought it was going to be. Uh, that appears to be the uh, Wi-Fi card. This kind of looks like a laptop motherboard and I'm trying to see the the hard drive the hard drive should be if this is the laptop motherboard it could be that the hard drive is back in there I can't really tell uh, that looks more like the heat sink there um, I'm not sure anyways uh, this is exactly how you you take it apart I just gotta find the component it could it could be a 2.5 inch drive I just don't know there's the memory right there so th this is the downsides of buying all in one unit set it's not your traditional type computer so you can work on easily more like a laptop uh, so that was my bad I, th I thought these were gonna be a good computers but um, you, you learn the hard way regardless uh, I, I still like this unit I think it's it's nice for desktop savings um, you know, you save you save a lot of space on, on desktop because it's just this. But that's the uh, that's what I wanted to shoot for. I wanted to shoot for uh, showing you guys exactly where the screws are at to get this guy taken apart. So hope that helps out. We'll uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon.